What's up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy After Effects tutorial. Now we wanna learn how to make this gridded out 3D looking layer of footage inside of After Effects in under two minutes. Let's go. So you have your 4K composition, let's call it grid comp. Click okay. Now we need to find all of our footage. I have a bunch of footage here I've downloaded online. I'm gonna grab all of this and bring it into our timeline. Now normally you'd have to go one by one and move this footage around, scale it down, find where it fits in the grid position everything, and that takes a lot of time. We don't want to do that. So today we're using Filmic Grid Maker, a really fun plugin for After Effects. If you want a link to this, there's a link in the description, or if you comment grid down below, I will link it to you personally. So with Grid Maker opened up here, all we have to do is highlight all of our clips. We do not want any padding between the clips. We want to pre-comp each layer in case we want to change the footage out, um, and then click five by five. Now I do know that this is the exact number of clips it will fit a five by five, but you also have the option down below to choose a custom grid and all these pre-comped grids here. Awesome, all the footage is perfectly laid out in the grids. If we wanted to change something, just jump in, double click and change it. In our original piece, I did have the other layers, they were singled out by themselves. So I just kind of just throw these on top, doesn't really matter where. This one looks good here. From here, we highlight all the layers, right click, pre-compose. Call it one layer. Turn this layer 3D, drop down on this, drop down on this. Let's just go ahead and keyframe everything because we're gonna be moving a lot of properties here. Drag this down the timeline to be our ending frame. Go to the beginning of the timeline and just kind of just move it around. Just change this, change this, change this, change this, move it this way and let's scale it up. And from here we can hit render and see what it looks like. And after rendering is done, here's the final render. As you can see, it is a tilted thing. The render will take much longer than normal because this is a ton of footage, but that's okay. We're just rendering. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to scan the QR code on the screen or go to filmit.io. Helps me out a ton. Peace.